I said I wasn't going to tear up. Um, it's indescribable, really, the feeling of coming back home. Well, thankfully, I was comfortable from day one just because uh, this is home and uh, I've, all of the people that I've come across are familiar to me for the most part. Um, people that were here when I played, when I coached as an assistant, and uh, they've made it very, very comfortable. I don't even have my office decorated yet, but I have a staff and I have uh, almost a, a full roster. So those were the two things I needed to get done. I definitely wanted an associate head coach and in that role I needed someone with experience, someone with that had um, great X's and O's, um, a great just a mind for the game. And uh, Bobby Brazel was really the first person and almost the only person that came to mind for that position. And so I'm, I'm really thankful that I was able to steal him away from Arkansas Little Rock as I know um, that was a great place. Secondly, I wanted someone that had been here before, someone um, who knew what the University of North Texas um, meant to me and uh, who also had a great deal of respect and love for it themselves and Cassandra Foreman again was the only person really to come to mind. She's had two years of experience at Northwestern State and so that was great that I wasn't bringing somebody in that had none at all. So I recruited her so I know her very well, um, coached her for a year and, um, and she bleeds green just like I do. So, And uh, actually any alum that comes through here I would love for them to even speak to the team you know and just kind of share their uh, story because I think it gives them confidence, it gives them something to look forward to, it gives them, you know, um, just a place to say, hey, like you said, this is, this is a great place and they've been here and they've done it and, um, you know, maybe I can do that someday. It's important for them to go out in the community and kind of share that with other people and kind of spread, spread the word, spread the knowledge. Well, that was a really tough situation, and it was one that, you know, I've talked to a lot of coaches, and they're just like, there's no manual for that, you know, I don't even know how to help you. But, um, you know, my, the most important thing for me was to make sure the players were okay. You know, as long as they're okay, I can be okay. And uh, so I've, I just uh, wanted to reach out to them and make sure we spent some time together, you know, and if they needed to talk about it or get anything out. They all, you know, wrote letters to her, you know, they um, really got a chance to grieve and, and express themselves. We did the flag ceremony, which was really great and had a chance to be with her family then. And, um, you know, they all just shared their love for Ebony and how much they miss her and uh, how much we all do really, you know, it's, it's been tough. But at the same time, I think um, it's brought them closer together, you know, and made them appreciate each other more in the time that they have and the time that they spend. Well, actually, I'm, most recently, the coaches' caravans have been really fun, you know, just to get out and see old faces and meet some new faces and, um, you know, shake a lot of hands and see a lot of smiles and, of people that are excited for me and excited for the program. Um, you know, everybody's like, we brought one of our own home, and so they're just as excited as I am about uh, what's to come, and I've been making sure I tell them, you know, you're saying this and we want you here. We want to see you in the super pit. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been fun. Uh, other favorite days, um, I closed on my house, which was really important. <laughs> that was extremely important just because, you know, I need to be settled and so I can focus on basketball. And um, obviously getting my staff and uh, of course signing these awesome players that will come in here. Those have been my favorite and I, don't, I can't add those up right now, but there's, there's been a ton of great days in the first 44 and I'm happy about that. I can't complain. That we want to really be out there and be visible. Um, we want to, um, you know, make sure we're present, whether it's social media, whether it's, you know, these coaches' caravans. We want to be out there. We want to be a, a part. We want to bring people in and, and that we need their support and we need their love. We're trying to do great things and we're on the verge of that. And I think, um, you know, the more support that we're given, the quicker we'll get there.